so militant, we so ignorant because if you lost in my hood, then you labeled the loss and without education, you just the soft. It's a shame, Papa been gone and Mama ain't to blame. It's a shame they give you a young public defender who can barely defend himself from this cold in the winter. What's going on, world? It's your boy Internal Quest of After Image Records. CEO, audio engineer, producer, and artist. I'll have I started out basically with a crew in my school around um, junior year of high school, and they, they was rapping, freestyling, and different things like that. So I said, you know, I was interested, especially being a big fan of hip hop. The first album I brought was um, Ray Kwan's The Purple Tape, um, Cuban Lynx album. So that really got me open to rap music. But seeing my friends freestyle and everything got me into, you know, doing music and such like that. So, um, Back, back then, I say around maybe 97, 8, it wasn't really a beats tapes like that. If you wanted to get an instrumental, you had to make it off of, um, you had to get the instrumental off of singles. They didn't really have line wire. I think Napster was just popping off. So you couldn't really have access to the um, to instrumental. So I said, I might as well start making beats. That's how I got into production. I started using a program called Fruity Loops. I think it's Fruity Loops 6 or 7 now. I was using two. So all the Fruity Loop OGs holler at me. But I've been using Fruity Loops since version two and I started making beats and from there, it was nobody really told me how to do engineering. So on my mom's little computer, I figured out um, how to record with a program called Cool Edit Pro. And from there, I started my career. Well, a couple of my influences on the hip hop rap side of things is definitely Jay-Z and Common. Common is my favorite rapper of all time, greatest of all time in my eyes. And Jay-Z, his whole you know, swagger, he could go underground, hip hop, commercial, he could go so many ways with it, you know. So, hit rap wise, that's one of my main influences. On the production side of things, you know, it's so many greats. It's like Pete Rock, No ID, you got Kanye, Just Blaze. There's so many, it's so many. My idol is Kanye West, because he could do it on the rap, he could do it with the raps, he could do it with the production, and it's all good, you know. So. That's my main influences, but definitely Kanye and Common, Jay-Z, Nas, Primo, definitely the greats, so that's my influences. Wow, if if I wasn't doing music, I'd probably be robbing you. Heck, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be robbing you. I was really, really big into architecture work, so I'd probably be an architect. Well, let's see. Things don't work out, let's see, 10 years from now, I got my um, degree in audio engineering, so maybe I'll be doing some Foley work, look that up, Google it, and I'll probably be um, just doing, you know, sound editing and mastering or something like that, but if rap and production doesn't work, that's what I'll be doing, got a degree in it. Since hip-hop became mainstream and became like one of the biggest selling, it is the biggest, Selling brand of music out right now is going to be a target. Whenever, whenever something is making so much money, it's going to be a target. It's like video games became a target after they've been making you know billions of dollars over an amount of time. It's going to be targeted. So hip hop is always targeted. It's going to be like that until hip hop is well, hip hop will never die. So it's going to be targeted for forever. So. You know, I can't, I can't help that the media, the media blames hip hop because there's a lot of negativity in the music and you'll, you'll catch, you know, a um, Gucci Man video before you catch a Common video when Common may be really spitting some knowledge or, you know, you know, Nas really might be spitting some knowledge, but they won't air that, you know, they have to set a criteria. So, you know, it's really the media's fault for not really indulging themselves deeply into really learning what hip hop is because if they really found out what hip hop is and all the different genres within hip-hop, they would know, you know, hip-hop is more than that. Once again, it's your boy Eternal Quest of After Image Records. Check me out, www.afterimagerecords.com, and from there, you can check out all the different artists on After Image Records. Check us out, Jersey. Start off where I left off. AI, AI, AI.